eight. Oh, all right. Seven, all right. Six, James is saying five, James is saying that four, his driver on Silent three, X is quite good, so we're gonna two, have to see here. One. Fight, so robots, fight. All right. Oh. oh wait, did I hear a weapon lock? Yeah, that weapon lock is. Is still the weapon on lock still Silent inside X. of Silent X? Oh no! Oh, that is a heartbreaking mistake. Oh, so but what we're gonna Mauser see now is a lot of amazing luck. Tapping. Yeah, from Mauser. Oh, okay. Bunny, okay. I, I hear Bunny saying, let's pause the match, let's restart. Ooh, good sportsmanship, good Bunny. Bunny. Sportsmanship awesome. Bunny. Bunny awesome. wants My sportsmanship. Goodness. Yes. Round of applause for Bunny. Bunny wants good fights. Bunny wants a good showing. She does not want to win this because they did not take the weapon guard out. This is awesome. I'm so wow. excited to see this. Oh my goodness. And so there you see our referee closing that is, it. That is pure class. That was. All right, the clock is still running here. And the match is paused. Bunny's it. ready to go. She wants it. She says, Eight, it. send it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fight, robots, fight. Oh, and we are really restarting this match yeah, from the very was... top. Bunny did not have to do that. There's nowhere in the rules that says that she had to do that. That was pure sportsmanship in class from her. Yeah. And, uh, you know, she very well may end up winning this fight anyway, but even if she doesn't, she definitely wins at the game of class. That was awesome. Yeah. Now, one of the big things to see uh, here with Silent X and with Silent Spring is that they have shuffle drive. These are not wheels on Silent X. Now, because of that, Jameson Go gets a weight bonus. So this is a five pound robot here in Silent X uh, versus a three versus a versus a three pound robot here in Mauser. Sorry, four pounds? Four pounds. Is yeah. it four pounds, Jameson? Four pounds. All yeah, right. One yeah. additional pound for the drive, which is important because one of the big issues with the silent line of robots when they were wheeled robots is that they would make a hit Ooh, and bounce hits. across the arena with uh, because they just didn't have enough weight to keep themselves down on the ground. That extra pound of weight from this shuffler drive actually helps keep keep them on the ground and keeps their weapon pointed at their opponent when they make these big hits. There you get a close look at exactly how those shufflers work. It's like a series of nubs that, you know, progressively take steps and it goes so fast, it's almost hard to tell that it's not a wheel. Oh, and it looks yeah, like there's so a big well piece of plastic on. That is definitely gone from Mauser. Yeah. Wow. Now, Mauser's got some good pushing power. You know, you can see Mauser really Corralling her opponent there up against the rails. Oof. Using that danger tail to try and uh, wedge itself into that uh, that drum. Ooh, good tapping there, Bunny. Really with, uh, with, with this design, Mauser has to break the, its opponent first, uh, br break the opponent's weapon before it can really go in and rack up all of those control points. Oh, it looks like uh, Bunny has wedged one of her wedgelets right underneath of Silent X. And she has full control of Silent X now as she's moving him around the arena. Bouncing him off of the wall. That's oh, oh nice, pin, nice there. pin there. Oh, very good. But you can hear inside of the box that drum spinning up and spinning down. I guess the big question is, how reliable is Silent X? Can its weapon be broken, Kyle? Typically speaking, I would say no. The, the forks Another on pin. Silent X do keep getting stuck on this plywood floor. Oh, aggressive tapping! Good Excuse me. Taps. Excuse me. She's allowed Excuse to me. hold this pin for 10 seconds. She wants to get as many aggressive taps in during that time period as she can. Eight, Excuse seven, me. six, five, four, three... <laughs> Two, <laughs> one, that's the end of this fight. Please turn off your weapons. Wow. Cease your aggressive tapping and go towards the door if you do not mind. Wow. What a great showing from uh, Mauser there. Fantastic. So this one will go to the judges. Now, as the judges deliberate, I loved this match. Um, we saw some incredible sportsmanship from Bunny Sariel. She didn't have to do that. Yeah. And by doing it, you know, she said, hey, you know, uh, let's have a fully functional weapon. See if, uh, see if, uh, see if, you know, I'll survive here. Um, all right, we've got uh, Cage side. Uh, Katie is here with, um, with, uh, with Bunny. 
Yeah, and you know what the guys were saying? They loved that battle. Why do you think it, why do you think? I think it's always great to have two experienced drivers go against each other because you get a lot of control and you get a lot of everything that you want, yeah. How would you work us through that? What happened from your perspective? Oh, uh, at first I thought something was wrong with his weapon and then, because you get in this like mindset so you don't really see what's going on. Um, and David was like, his weapon lock is in and they're like, do you want to restart? I was like, yeah, what? yes. <laughs> and um, so then I just kept pointed at him and they're such great drivers. It's so hard. <laughs> so you do your best. All I did was I lost a little front thing, but it's not important. It's just cosmetic. And Lindsay, who's over there with the most of the community, you guys have any thoughts towards Bunny? Oh. Well, so I'm running a poll right now to get a sense of what the audience thinks. Uh, and right now, Mauser is in the lead with about 68% of the votes. Wow. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, I do have some questions from the chat as well while we are waiting for the uh, judges to deliberate. And so the first one is from Chris Caps, and I'll throw this over to the announcers. Uh, how would you rate all of the bots with hub motors from top to bottom, like Billy, Eruption, Silent Spring, etc.? So a little something to gnaw on while we wait for the judges. Interesting. Gosh, that's a good question, Chris. Hmm. Hmm. I think Dark Side might be at the very top. <laughs> Dark side. <laughs> yes, uh, yes. I buy that. I buy that. Dark side, yeah. Most uh, most feared robot, uh, you know. Too dangerous to compete. That's what I heard. Chris. Right. Yeah, yeah. They, they were going to actually call off the finals if I if I made it. So we got a YouTube question. What's the best mini bot in the competition? Ooh. Ooh that's Wait, a like tough here one. today or just in the competition in yeah, general? Yeah. I think if we're talking about in the competition in general, then that would be Bone Collector. Yeah, Bone oh, Collector. Yeah. 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 But uh, here today, what do you think? Here today, it's got to be Dominic Giancascus running the, uh, the mini bot for Dragon Princess. Agreed. Yeah. That robot is incredible. Um, these are two control bots. I think you're going to see some really incredible uh, driving from Dominic and that miniature robot uh, that he's running with his daughter. I agree 100%. Um, so we're going to go to the judges and see who won that fight here pretty shortly. There we go. Oh, Kyle. I am on the edge of my seat. I know. Now, this I will one was say, close. This Mauser one was close. did defeat Silent X back in February, so we'll see if they had a repeat. We come. The numbers here. are filtering in. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Damage goes to Silent X. Yeah. Aggression goes to Mauser. Control goes all Whoa! the way to Mauser. Wow. Mauser! Control wins it. Unanimous decision. Yeah. Not surprised by that one at all. Thank you, fellas. That was uh, 